You can control many default reference file options through the Preferences Settings box on the Workspace menu. Let's have a look at that right now. So go to Workspace and Preferences and select Reference. Now here we see the default settings. I don't want to go into great detail about each one, since most of them are defaults and work quite well with the work that you're likely to be doing. A couple of mentions though. The four items here, Snap, Locate, Manipulate as Element, and True Scale should all be on. Now these can be turned on and off in the References dialog box, but it's convenient to have them automatically turn on at this location. And Save Settings to Save Changes should also be on. This is very similar to setting a design file to automatically save after every operation. If your work involves getting deeper into the manipulation of reference files, then it would be helpful to look at the information in the help files, which is going beyond the intent of this video. You can gain a little insight into what the settings mean by looking at the item description at the bottom of the box. As you select items, there is a small amount of information displayed. Make sure that you turn back on or off the item if you are looking at that description. I'm going to get out of this box right now and now talk about working units and reference files. Now in the previous two exercises, you've attached reference files that had the same working units. If the attached files do not share the same working units as the current file, MicroStation will do its best to reconcile the differences in unit proportions. MicroStation understands the units you work in and usually converts the relative size of elements successfully. Let me give an example. On the screen you see a square, which is one millimeter on a side. And my settings for this design file for working units are mass units, millimeters and millimeters, with an accuracy of two decimal places. What matters here is the mass units and the millimeters. We'll say OK to that. And just so you understand fully, let's measure this square. Look at the value in the X box of AccuDraw. One master unit, so therefore one millimeter. I'll just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to open a file with English units. And I'm going to go back to our T-block design. So I'm in the T-block design right now. Let's just check the units. Working units are mass unit, subunit, feet, inches, and accuracy of 164th in this case. Now I've made the accuracy 164th so that we can see the maximum amount of information about the size of the square when we reference it into this drawing. OK to that. Now let's reference that one millimeter square into this drawing. So reference files, attach. There's my one millimeter design. Now make sure that true scale is on. It automatically is, provided it's on in preferences that we just looked at. In my case, it is. Let's give this a logical name. We'll call it a one millimeter square. And we'll say OK. My reference pops into place on the screen. Now I'd like to measure the square, but since the square is the only element in that previous drawing, then I can't actually see the element itself. I can only see the boundary. So I need to display only the square. And to do that, simplest way is to turn off the references box. There's my square. This is now in my English units file. Let's measure this one too. Line tool, click, drag, snap, and look at the AccuDraw window where it's displaying as 3 64ths of an inch, which is as close as you can get using a fraction to one millimeter. Let's change things a little bit. Let's go to settings again and design file and working units. And let's change this to an accuracy of five decimal places. So now we're looking at feet and inches and five decimal places for the inch dimensions. Say so, OK. Let's measure this again. Now look at the AccuDraw window and we get zero feet, zero inches and 0 0.03937 inches. Well, 
0.03937 is the decimal you get when you divide 1 by 25.4, which is one millimeter expressed as inches. So as you can see, MicroStation has automatically referenced this one millimeter square into this English units file, and it's perfectly accurate in terms of the current units, which is exactly as you would hope. Now, in addition to MicroStation's automatic alignment of working units, you can force a specific alignment of your own. This is useful if you're working in unusual units or you want to specify a particular unit's relationship. In this case, you need to turn off the true scale option and apply your own master reference scale units. This is not always an easy thing to do, and you may require some trial and error before finding the appropriate relationship for what you need.